Moving on, Kent State. Now, I, anybody that watches this show knows how much I absolutely adore Kent State because of Sean Lewis mm-hmm. and what he has done. Now, Dino Babers guy runs a really fun offense. Their win total sits at number or yeah, the number is five. I was just so, about to say this is a team I actually like a lot. Plus one hundred five to go over, minus one thirty five to go under. SP Plus has them projected four and eight. FBI has them five and seven. They went so uh, three. And I put three and one for their twenty. They went record. three and one. Did they really? They went three and one. That is bananas. Yeah, they only played four games. Uh, yeah. So uh, now they got smoked by Buffalo. Yes, yeah, but that's but, the only game they lost. But that's the only game they lost. Um, senior quarterback Dustin Crum returns. Super senior. He is. He's a lot of fun. He is the perfect quarterback for what they try and do. He runs. They score. He can pass well. And then they score. Boy, do they score. Uh, this team will be improved, but the issue is with the schedule. Tough. Bowl eligibility is going to be kind of tough. They got A and M, Iowa, and Maryland in their non conference, so that's, that's right. basically three losses right there. Unless they can, unless they can find a way to score um, on those defenses. Now Maryland, you can absolutely score with, but that that one could end up being a fun game. Whatever it the could total be a fun is, game. I don't think they're going to win that game though. No. I, that that's too much disrespect to Maryland. Whatever the total is on that game, I'd probably take the over <laughs> between uh, between Talia. Uh, Tonga Valoa and Dustin Crum, like I think, yeah. I think we're hitting 75, 80 points. Yeah, I mean, I'm with you. I, I, I can see that. The three seasons under Lewis, the defense is ranked number 121, number 119, and number 118. The yeah, run that's defense, just not how they play. The run defense is beyond awful. Yeah. Uh, now, they have improved like two spots in the second year and then one spot in the third year, but they're still at number 118. It's pretty bad. No, they're just a high-scoring football team. Yes. I mean, that's just it. Very much so. Uh, they are projected favorites in five games. Uh, of course, with the win total at five, I like this offense. I think they're a lot of fun. I like Sean Lewis. I like the fact that they got a bunch of dudes back there, number 19 in the country in returning production. I'm going to take the over. Yeah, I am too. Yeah, what, what, what's the juice on the over? Plus 105. Yeah, I'm going to take the over as well. I'm gonna I say, can, it's not going to be easy, but no. I think they win a lot of coin flip games. I, I do. Think so. I think they're going to win games where they're not favored in, but it's a you know less than a touchdown. Yeah, the ball goes your way. You can score fast. You know, I, I think I think they're going to be a, a really fun team. I think this conference is going to have a lot of chaos. Oh yes. So if yes. you're trying to pick chalk, hey, I don't even know where to tell you what chalk is. Oh, I'll I'll tell you what chalk is here in just a minute. Okay. All right. But uh, now first, before we get to the chalk. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.